Come on in. Today we have John back for a follow-up. You can see his original episode here. But um, if you may uh, recall that John had his hip replaced. And what was a uh, concern before was he'd get super tired later in the day and stairs were really hard. And I think he's got stairs in his house. So that's, yes. that's a concern. So we, I checked in with him about a week later and he was walking a lot more. Um, but tell us, how we're, it's a month later now, so how are you doing? Um, much better, much better. Um, my leg is uh, its still a little numb, but it's going away. And it's very strange because I, I, like, like I feel the, the uh, nerves connecting. And um, so it's, it's like a little tingling or a little pain. Oh, okay. And then how about, are you still doing your walking? Yes, I'm still doing walking. I'm doing more walking because oh. it feels better. And um, so, yeah, I think walking just really helps it a lot. Good. And stairs? Stairs, uh, I am good earlier in the day. Okay. And later in the day, I think I get a little tired. I, then I still do the rocking up the all right. Instead of climbing up the stairs. So um, what we're going to do with John today is I'm going to check just a few, a little mini check. Um, and then we did not get to two different aspects of movement of how that leg, that hip connects uh, last time. Um, we just had him on his back to make sure that some basic movement was just available and, and starting to work. And so we're going to end up with you on your side and then on your stomach so that we've got two other aspects of how that leg and the core interconnect across that new hip. So we've got that to put back together, and then hopefully that's going to help that nerve finish uh, knitting itself together and um, also give you better uh, endurance for the, for the day. Yeah. So, um, so just stand right there. Let's just see how, how everything's flowing when you're standing up. Wow, that's centered. Very nice and easy, and then turning. Super nice and easy and forward and back. Love it. Well, that so far so good. Yeah. I'm going to let you sit and then lay down. Okay. And let's just see what's going on with legs. So I'm just going to lift. Okay. They are matching. And does this one turn? It does. And same with this one. The right's a little bit easier. Um, pardon me. The left is a little bit easier. The right is the one that you had mm. replaced. Yes. And let's just see how we're moving up here. Super easy. Actually, the left side's a little tight. Mm. Um, and I'm going to lift and just take your each leg through a few different motions and see how it's t the hip is turning. Because, yes, we want the right to be better, but actually want them to match. So oh. we don't want to get the right better than the left. <laughs> and, okay. Well... Guess what? It doesn't turn. <laughs> and just so you know what we're talking about, it's this. So it'd be nice if that worked on the on the right. Yeah, um, it's a lot easier to put my sock on my left foot than my right. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, John, I'm gonna have you sit up and flip around. I'm gonna so the one of the directions of how your leg works is on the side. Does it interact in a sideways movement and then turning? And so we're going to support it and support with a little peanut up where the scar is. And it's on the front, right? Mm, yes. And just going to hold on the front uh, with this big surface. And I'm going to stabilize on the back. And what I want to do is match up from the front to the back of the lower part of your core where your leg connects in and get some movement happening up here. So last time what we did was get your leg and your hip to play together better. Mm. And that's uh, worked out pretty well for you for walking, but a lot more going on in life than just walking. Yes. So the one thing that came to mind as I was thinking about uh, what we wanted to follow up with today is uh, also after today, you need to start getting back to some exercises for the for your overall well-being. And, you know, for all the time that your hip was bothering you, I don't think exercising was something that would have entered your mind. No. no. So, um, you know, it doesn't have to be go to the gym kind of exercising. 
-hmm. It can be find something online um, that you like their style and, uh, you know, it could be 10, 15 minutes. But I think finding something with some basic squats and lunges mm -hmm. would actually be good for rebuilding your overall strength with the legs and your core. And you could get into planks and push-ups and stuff like that. But because those are just generally good. Huh. Okay, so we're starting to get more movement between the front of this hip and behind it. And it's getting just a whole lot playful to work with. So some little wiggles and jiggles. Um, that means all the different layers are starting to be able to move together. So let's see if your leg turns now. And it does, but not so much. So I'm going to move the support a little differently and still come back to the hip and kind of matching up what's going on where they re did the replacement to um, more of his lower back. And that's what my hand is holding on the back side. So it's sort of between the front and the back, what, what two parts are we trying to match together? Because there's so many muscles around that hip that go into the core, and actually that just changed because I felt your core muscles relax and lengthen. And overall, it's getting easier to move. Let's recheck. So it's easier for me to lift. Oh, well look at that. And I'm gonna bend, and John, this is what we couldn't do when you were on your back. Oh, awesome. You know, I was thinking of having you on your stomach, but I don't think that's going to, I think we're going to check, but I don't think we're going to work that way because the really what's, what changes is from holding uh, and supporting where you actually had the surgery. So, there. So now I'm going to, I'm coming down instead of supporting on the backside, his lower back, I'm more at the, literally the back of the hip. Um, for those of you who know a little bit on the hip uh, femur, the trochanter, just at the top of the bone itself, because I want the availability of literally just the top of his thigh to move. And... Gosh, that's starting to get really bouncy and playful. So we're gonna check one more interaction that I call push-pull. And I'm gonna come around to the front and we're gonna grab your leg and push and pull and see if it works with your core. <laughs> so. We're going to do this pretty gently. I do not want to stress that new hip. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to hold at your knee. And so we have a little bit of interaction between your core. You, you can feel it moving. We can see it moving. And there, it's starting to open up. It's kind of like it's been waiting to be discovered. Yeah. yeah. And do a little bit more. There we go. Because a lot of the endurance and um, strength that you're going to have for the whole leg is going to come from that whole core uh, interaction that is predominantly between the quads and hamstrings and the glutes. Hmm. It actually feels pretty nice and bouncy. So, tell you what. Um, Roll on your back. Let's just see if they're matching up. And then I'm going to have you roll on your stomach. And just double check. They're just as easy to lift as one another. And if I bend, so we have some of that in-out motion. Um, Crisscross sitting, still not there yeah, for you. No. <laughs> no. So... Not saying it's out of the realm of possibilities, but uh, not happening yet. But let's see if just a little bit of, do they match? Yes, they do. We call this baby toes. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> little babies. Like a baby. They like to play with those toes. 
It's an important piece. Okay, so those seem pretty good. Um, roll over that way. There we go. Okay, I just want to double check all the way. More? Yeah, all the way down. Okay. There. I just want to make sure that a couple other functions, so this is the left that uh, is all original, mm -hmm. and this is the right. How about it? Those are pretty similar to each other. And then another turn. Okay, it comes out and around. You might be able to do some kickboxing. All right. <laughs> and that one does too. Great. And then let's see if you're centered here. Terrific. So tell you what, push back up um, and flip over. I want to check one last thing and then we'll, we'll retest some stuff standing up. There we go. I'll make sure that our sides overall are matching. Wow, it's really good. Oh, good. So come on up and sit up. And you can just sit. Okay. I want to. I want to recheck and see how everything is flowing. Very nice. And turning, and forward and back. And then Jen, stand up. And I'm gonna check a couple of different things standing. Um, just a basic one to start with. It's just so much easier. It was good when we started, yeah. but it's just it's like warmed up and. I can feel this. Um, I can tell that it hasn't moved in yeah. a while, and now it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, face me. Okay. So um, I want you to put one foot in front of the other, and then I'm just going to glide you forward and back because it's how, to, how are you using all of that. Excellent. Okay, now switch the other foot because, again, we want these to match. It's a little tighter on the right. A little tight. Um, in this position or the other position? In this position. Okay, so it's just stand there and let's see what is. If you feel like you're going to lose your balance, you can put your hands on my shoulders. Oh, okay. And so this will be helpful for your walking so you can oh. take bigger strides. Yes, good. There we go. Okay, so let me use your hands. You're using the Nordic poles, right? Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. Get the arm and the leg workout. Okay, Great. switch back and let's see. Does that more, seem more similar? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yay. Okay. So turn around and uh, that's it. Um, so just to recap, John had his hip replaced, uh, I think it's now three months? Yes. Close okay. to. And we met with him a month ago and got uh, some basic interactions of his leg and hip um, working and today we just connected up his core a little bit more completely mm -hmm. and so you should be ready for adding to your uh, workout routine oh. uh, because it's really important to keep all that muscle um, not only for balance but just our overall health um, and we know that you want to be around for a few more years <laughs> so um, yes yes so thanks for joining us today and uh, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in another episode. Thank you. Thank you.